Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what Spirit wants you to hear. Please remember this may not resonate for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what Spirit wants you to know. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to today, um, so there's this energy where you really have stepped into your power, okay? Whoever I'm speaking to, it really feels like you've recognized your worth, um, and I do see that there's an energy of people from your past coming back into your life, okay? Especially if you guys are doing any type of cutting cords, okay, or really clearing out your energy from past people, I do see that you have people that they may not have treated you the best in the past, and I do see these people coming back and wanting to mend things with you, right? And I am getting it's because you have really shifted your energy, right? You've really taken your power back from people and situations from the past and now you seem to have the same people coming back into your life wanting to fix things okay for some of you you may be dreaming about people from the past okay people that may have hurt you um there's this energy of these people really trying to get back into your energy into your life right you have a lot of people here that feel like they've ruined things with you, that are really missing you at the moment, okay? So I also see this energy of, for some of you, you could be moving, okay? I'm getting something about moving location. For some of you, you may actually be moving house, or maybe you're moving country, okay? Or you're thinking about kind of changing your location, right? Or some of you may have recently changed your location. If it's not that, they're just, it seems to be whoever I'm speaking to, it's like your surroundings feel different, okay? You're really looking at life from a different perspective, okay? And I do see that, especially those that you've walked away from, okay, they are really missing you at the moment. Um... I see that you, there are people here that you may have been holding on to, even if you weren't, and I just think 333, three, three, even if you weren't physically holding on to these people, or maybe they weren't even in your reality or your 3D, there was a situation from the past that you were holding on to on an energetic level, and I do see that you've kind of let that go. Instead of looking at the past, you seem to be looking at the future, there seems to be a whole lot of new energy around you, right? New people wanting to know you, new opportunities coming your way, okay? There's a lot of new beginnings here. But again, you are also going to have people from your past that missed their opportunity, okay? I'm, I'm also getting... There's one person in particular, this person was very, very toxic, okay? There's this energy of them really trying to get back into your energy, okay? For some of you, this could be like an ex or something, okay, that's feeling you move on. It doesn't have to be an ex, though. It just feels like somebody that... They're like an energy vampire. Literally, they seem to really be addicted to your energy, and now that you've pulled your energy away and you're focused on other things, other people, other situations, this person is very desperate to get back into your energy. Okay. Be 
be careful of the past person coming back into your energy, guys, because, I mean, this person feels like you are very forgiving, but whatever this person did, I mean, with the Devil card and the Tower card here, I mean, there's no coming back from whatever they did, and this person also seems to be going through their own karma at the moment. There's an energy of this person going through some type of bad experience, but this is a lot of karma that they're going through at the moment. Um, I don't know if this has anything to do with you. This could be just what they're going through um, themselves, but I do see that this person, they are coming back and they want to fix things here with you, okay? I'm picturing somebody... And their foot is bleeding, like, bleeding a lot, okay? So they may have hurt their foot or something like that. Let me know if that resonates. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo. I'm hearing string of events, okay, and I'm also getting told right now to let you guys know that you need to look at a string of events, okay, there's a string of events that led to something here that may have even caused an ending, okay, there could have been an ending to something, but I do see that whoever this person is, that's coming in and trying to fix things here with you. There's a string of events, okay, that you need to look closely at. For some of you, you may have had a lot of things come to an end, okay. Maybe you had people walking away from you at the same time. Maybe you lost your job, okay. Um, there seem to be endings, okay. But there's also this person here that is trying to get back into your life. Um, something about them as well. I'm getting this energy. For some of you, they could be sending you spiritual attacks, okay? Um, and if it's not spiritual attacks, they could actually be interfering in your connections, okay? This person may... For example, if you lost your job, this person may have spoken to your boss, okay? Or if, you know, you've lost people, like, around you, people start walking away from you, this person may actually be trying to drive people away from you. But also, this could have to do with spiritual attacks as well. This person kind of attacking you, right? This is somebody from your past, and this is somebody that they're unable to get over something. Even though this person wants to fix things here with you, they are unable to get over something from the past. This person, it's like they want to get revenge. Um, they seem to be, they really seem to be somebody that, I mean, they have very toxic traits, okay? They really, they also don't seem to be thinking of the consequences of their actions. This person kind of feels like they want, they want to see you in a really bad place, okay? Again, for some of you, they're sending you the evil eye, right? And this is something where they're doing it on purpose, but they also seem to be receiving it like they seem to whatever they're throwing your way whatever spiritual attacks they're throwing your way or whatever they're wishing upon you seems to be happening to them right and this person at the moment is dealing with a lot of karma and it, it feels like this person wants to get back in your life and well for some of you you have figured this person out or you can see right through this person um and you seem to be really angry at this person and they feel like they need to fix things here with you. This person's also watching you, 
right? For whoever this is, it feels like they're, I mean, they are, they're wishing the worst upon you, but then they're watching you and they feel like you continue to, like you're continuously being blessed, okay? Like you continue to be, nothing is affecting you. In fact, this person's looking at you as somebody that's very lucky, everything always goes your way, all while trying to, or hoping that things will go bad for you, trying to attack you, right? On a spiritual level, sending you literal spiritual attacks, okay? Or wishing bad things upon you. And then they're watching you and they seem... It feels like you're getting all these opportunities, okay? You're being blessed. Um, while this person seems to really be going through it, right? I mean, they... Things seem to be really going bad for this person at the moment. To the point where this person is really wanting your forgiveness, right? They want you to forgive them. They want to fix things here with you. But again, you're going to see this person come in and try to apologise to you or fix things or get back into your energy somehow. For some of you, they're going to try to go through other people as well, right? So if this person, like, for example, known your friends or your family, this person will try to speak to your family, okay, and get in through that way. Because I do see that whoever this is, they've done so much here. And you can see right through them, right? This is somebody that is very jealous of you. This is somebody that... They're so jealous of you. They seem to be opposite of you as well. You seem to be somebody that's very loving, very caring. Also, there's something here. It really feels like you are protected, okay? It feels like whoever I'm speaking to, there's this protection around you. Um, and this person cannot handle it, right? I'm also getting that this person's very opposite to you, whoever I'm speaking to, there's a very angelic energy to you. This person feels very opposite, right? Very... They're very fear-based, um... Very dark energy around them. This is somebody that... They wish bad upon people, okay? They may... I mean, with the high priest revert, okay, and the devil card, they may be, you know, sending spiritual attacks people's way, okay, this person seems to be very dark, they tend to really wish bad things upon people, they have a very, like, they like to see people go through bad things, and they really want to see you go through something bad, especially because they feel like, you shifted your energy for some of you this could be a love interest or they're into you but you're not into them you seem to be into other people right and this person can't handle it for others this is somebody from your past that just does not want to see you do well right and this person there's a very hateful energy especially when it comes to you for some reason they really seem to hate you and I know that's a strong word, but that's what I'm getting. And for some of you, you you love everyone. I mean, you tend to love everyone. Everyone tends to love you, okay? You seem to be very popular, right? It feels like this person's watching you. They also feel like people just fall in love with you. Opportunity just fall into your lap. I just seen 14, 14. It's just, they just feel like you, or you're always getting blessed, okay? They feel like you're very lucky, okay? No matter what they throw your way, it doesn't seem to happen. Like, whatever spiritual attack they're throwing to you, it doesn't really seem to affect you. This person is watching you, and they feel like you're unaffected, okay? Even though this person seems to be throwing attacks your way, sending you, whether this is... On a conscious level or not because for some of you this person is doing this on purpose okay they're literally sending spell work your way but for others this is just the evil eye like this person's literally wishing the worst on you right 
and then they're watching you to see if you are failing or if what they're wishing upon you is working, okay? It doesn't seem to be working at all. Actually, you seem to be in a very good position. You are getting opportunities, new beginnings are coming for you, okay? People love you. People absolutely adore you, right? With this person, um, I mean, they seem to be very hateful, okay? There's a lot of resentment around this person, especially when it comes to you. For some of you, this is somebody that's completely jealous of you. For others, you rejected this person, okay? You rejected them, um, and they, they don't know how to get over it, to be honest, okay? They feel rejected. They also, they're very bitter, and they want some type of revenge here on you okay especially if you did reject this person this person is watching everything that you do it's like they really just want to see you they want to see you fail they want to see you unhappy okay yeah and for some of you they may actually go around and try to turn people against you right they may even make fake rumors up okay or I'm just getting whatever they're saying to people, it's just, it's clearly not true, but they want people to look at you in a different light, okay? They want people to see you the way that basically, not that they see you because they kind of do see the goodness in you, but they are very, very hurt from the past, okay? And this person wants to see everybody walk away from you because everybody walked away from them, right? But for some of you, I mean, it feels like you even walked away from them. And this even could be somebody in your family. But for others, I am getting this is somebody, they feel very rejected by you. Could be an ex or something. They also see you, there's somebody new that you're with, okay? Or there's somebody new in your life that's in love with you, okay? Um, for some of you, they feel like they've missed their chance. And if you are in a new relationship, this person is really wishing the worst. Like, they're hoping that you guys break up. For some of you, they could be sending breakup spells your way. Yeah, this person... This is somebody that can't get over you. Okay, this is somebody that... They can't get over you, they're still heartbroken over you. The thing is though, whoever this is, you really loved them and you really cared about them and this person seemed to sabotage that, right? Now this person's really mad. Like they're really angry because they feel like you're moving on, that you know, you're getting blessed, that you're happy, okay, that there's new opportunities around you. So they are gonna try to come back into your life and fix things, but this person also doesn't like you, right? So just keep that in mind. It's like they want to get back into your energy. They want to know information about you. They want to see things end for you, right? For some of you, when this person's not in your energy, and I mean, if you're not speaking to this person or giving them any type of energy, they cannot affect you, right? But the moment that you start to give this person energy or you let them back into your life or you forgive them, okay, that's when the energy that they send your way may affect you in little, like in little, like for example, you may have an inconvenience, okay? Nothing too serious seems to happen here, but you will also get signs, okay? For example, you may have, you know, an inconvenience or just something that's a little bit, because whoever I'm speaking to, you seem to always have really good luck. You seem to really, you're really blessed here, okay? And when you're having, you know, especially when this person's around or you speak to this person, you may notice that, you know, things going wrong, okay? There's just little signs that the spirit is trying to show you, right? about this person and again they're going to try to come back into your life and kind of get back into your energy again this person doesn't like you and if anything they do bring a lot of bad luck and this person is wishing bad upon you right especially if you have if you rejected this person in any way 
or if there's new opportunities around you, okay, just be aware of, you know, letting this person back into your life because I also see that when you do let this person back into your life, it feels like you've taken a step back, right? Because you've already seen this person's true colours, right? So if you do forgive them, this person, and you do allow them back into your life. Now, forgiving somebody and then allowing them back into your life after, they're two different things. You can forgive somebody and then still know that this person's not good for you, right? In this situation, letting this person back into your life and into your energy and giving them the benefit of the doubt will only kind of bring you backward, okay? Because this is a lesson that you've already gone through, right? That's all I have for you guys. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.